going to be saved. No, it says, for God so loved the world. God does his part. For God so loved the world. Agape the world. This, I'm real quick like, I, I don't want to go too fast. Speed right through it. But let's see. Uh, I'm going to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I'm going to close with this. So remember chapter 13, everybody. It's the love chapter. It's the agape chapter. It's not to be confused with this human love. Human love is selfish. It's self-centered. Agape is God-centered, other-centered. And that has been the whole problem since Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were God-centered before the taking of the forbidden fruit. Once they took this, they took Satan's advice, they become self-centered. Though I speak with the tongues of men and angels, but have not love, but have not agape, you can substitute this word for Jesus or God. It says, but it says, if I speak with the tongues of men and angels and have not God or love or agape, I have become a sounding brass and a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries, so I can understand the whole Bible. I can know it from cover to cover, word by word. I can memorize it, all of it. But if I don't have this agape, where did I get this agape from? He's saying, I'm knocking on the door of your heart. Allow me to come in, and I will make the changes in you that need to be made so you can be an overcomer. Amen. You can't be an overcomer. Amen. Yeah, sure, you can. People got, we've got uh, tenacious attitudes. I mean, we can overcome a lot of things in our own strength. But, you know, you're going you're gonna to die one day. And, you're, and then you, what, what then? Allow God to work in your life. And, and, and as I say in almost all of my sermons, allow God to come into you. Examine yourself before God. Allow Him to, to come in and, and remove the darkness. Amen. Amen. I ask Him to remove the darkness from me, and He's working on me. Amen. Amen. You know, we're diamonds in the rough. Amen. And these rough edges, He's knocking off of us slowly. And, and that, those are the adversities in our lives. If you're having a hard time, thank God. Don't try to get out of it. That's right. Go with it. Amen. 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 You gotta allow him to polish you. If you try to get Amen. out of everything, Amen. if you're like water, you follow the path of least resistance. Mm. Allow God to work on you. Amen. Accept the adversity. And I'm saying that to me too, because it's like, you know, I really gotta go through that, Lord. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, yes. yes. Amen. 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 Our closing song is number 318.
so much for allowing us to come into your house of worship today to, uh, to worship you and to talk about you, allow you to work on our hearts. I pray, Father, that you reach your mighty hand down, that you touch each person in here, that you give them a special blessing. It would uh, not only, they not only be informed today, but they would be transformed into the likeness of Jesus. May every person in the sound within the sound of my voice, I pray that they would be ready for your coming, that each one would hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.